yourself in that world you have to just keep pushing if you cannot do that it might not be for you Number one, an inconsistent schedule. As an airline pilot, as part of an airline company, you will have an inconsistent schedule that changes every week. So you might be working during the week, you might be working during the weekend, as opposed to somebody who works a regular nine to five job from Monday to Friday. So you will have to be adaptable to that. You'll have to be ready to basically wake up earlier from some flights. And you have to, for example, be aware that some of the flights will take place late at night as well so you have to be somebody who is adaptable and you also have to be somebody who is able to manage his time and his own circadian ry rhythm with sleep and stuff like that to basically be able to thrive on that type of environment now also let's move on to holidays for example christmas the new year's eve these are things that you might miss you might have one of them you might have none at all and for example for muslims for example who fast during ramadan you will have to have days where you don't fast because you will be in flight and you will be exhausted if you do a complete fast. So it might impede with certain things that you're used to doing usually without being part of the airline industry basically. So you have to keep that in mind. And basically if you're not somebody who can fit that inconsistent schedule in his life, unfortunately being a pilot might not be for you. Number two, you will be away from friends and family often. So as an airline pilot, you have to be aware that you will be away from home a lot of times. You'll be spending your nights in hotels or in flights. So a lot of times, if you have a big family and you have a lot of people that depend on you and who are used to seeing you a lot, that will change quickly when you start with an airline job. So you have to be aware of that and you have to be okay with it and have to find ways that work to be able to maintain contact with these people and make sure that it works for them as well okay now there's two possibilities either you're somebody who has a big family for example you might be married you might have a spouse or you will be somebody who is younger who has no ties and that is a lot easier and that's why it is easier for younger people to get into the airline industry because they have nobody depending on them but if you have some if you're somebody who has people who depend on him a lot it might be a lot, a lot more difficult, but if it, if it is something that you really want to do, it is your passion and you know that this is what you want to do, you will have to be able to discuss with these people and make sure that it is okay with them and also have the mental toughness to be able to go through with it and understand what that implies, okay? Now, when it comes to friends, it is the same thing. What you used to do during the week and during the weekends with your friend, you might not be able to do it as often because you will be flying and your schedule, like we said on point number one, will be inconsistent. So that is something that you need to keep in mind if you want to become an airline pilot. If you're somebody who cannot live that kind of nomad lifestyle and not be away from his friends and or his family, like I said before, this might not be for you. Number three, missing social events. This ties back into number two. As an airline pilot, like I said before, you have an inconsistent schedule, you're away from friends and family, You'll be spending a lot of time in hotels, inside of the aircraft, or resting. 
you will be missing a lot of social events because of that. Depending on whether you are in a base that requires you to commute back home or not, this might change this fact, but it's, the, the case remains that you will be flying a lot and you will be away a lot of times. So a lot of special events to you and your friends might be missed, unfortunately, when it comes to birthdays, when it comes to weddings, when it comes to just regular social get togethers, you will miss a lot of them. Now, obviously there are exceptions when it's something, something that is very, very important to you. You can talk to your company and have a day off to be able to attend that. But when it comes to regular other things that might be very important to somebody else's life, you will have no choice but to accept the fact that some of these events will be missed. And now it gets into something that is a little bit more deep because you will lose friends because of that, because you will drift away. And that is just a fact of life that you have no choice but to accept, okay? Now, you can stay in contact as much as you can with the people that you love and the people that you enjoy, but everybody has a different life. Everybody has a different goal. Your goal is to be an island and develop yourself in that world. You have to just keep pushing. If you cannot do that, it might not be for you. Number four, as an airline pilot, you need to be able to cope with pressure. It is a job that requires you to have the skill set to be able to always deal with situations that might arise, no matter how you feel inside of your head and no matter what the situation is. Now, let's take for example the simulators. You will have two simulators a year where you will be tested and evaluated to make sure that you still have the standard required by the airline and to maintain your license. You will also have recurrent courses that you will need to take to prove to the instructors that you still know what you're talking about and to basically refresh yourself. There's a lot of things that are outside of your control. Personal life, okay, your wife might be pregnant or sick during one of your flights, you might have a problem with a friend. These are things that concern you, but you still need to be able to have the resilience and the mental toughness to go in flight with these things and still be able to do your job properly. During the flight, somebody might be sick, a passenger, you might have a smoke alarm, you might have something that might affect you and your ability to do your job correctly if pressure is something that moves you off your center. You need to remain focused and be able to deal with that normally, okay? So not only do you need to have good physical health for your medical, you also need to take these things into consideration when you become a pilot. If you're not, if you're not somebody who's able to deal with things later or is somebody who can make decisions when he's got too much on his mind, being a pilot might not be the best job for you either. Number five, last but not least, the medical. The medical is the centerpiece of every airline pilot's career. Without the medical, your license is not valid, okay? Now, as an airline pilot, the most important part is getting the initial class one medical. From the moment you have your initial class one medical, if you, you live a healthy lifestyle, and if you avoid activities that can endanger you or be detrimental to your health or your life, normally you should be fine, okay? The medical is something that you do every six months or every year depending on your age. Now, it is something that cannot be neglected, okay? You need to live your life always having that in the back of your mind. You need to make every decision thinking of that because it is literally the glue that holds you and your career together, okay? so. This aspect to me is the most important out of all fives that I've stated. If you're somebody who is unhealthy usually, or if you're somebody who engages in activities that can be detrimental, detrimental to your health, and you are willing to become a pilot in the future, you can either leave that behind you and focus on becoming a pilot or proceed throughout your career with extreme caution. If you are unfit, you can lose everything. This medical aspect is of the utmost importance because it is a constraint that will follow you throughout your whole career and it is important for you to put all of the chances on your side. Live a healthy lifestyle and always think twice before you do something that can be detrimental to your life. Thank you for watching the video. It was FlyJV. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter for more information and to talk with me directly. FlyJV forever. I'm out.